All right, this is another blockchain video concerning this time um, the ability to create a business plan or actually the necessity to create a business plan because while blockchain may be a cool technology and you, implementing a blockchain without a plan can be real disastrous. Uh, for one, you're paying high paid technicians to actually install, develop and grow your uh, blockchain network. Uh, but at the same time, if you don't have a, a good solid direction that you're going and trying to accomplish or a business process that you're trying to um, automate through blockchain, um, you can spend a lot of money and not, not get the real benefit out of it that you need to. So what I'd like to do is highlight a particular blockchain that is a global uh, blockchain that is involved in the global shipping industry. Now it's a difficult industry to operate in in the first place. There's a large amount of documents such as bills of lading, sales contracts, letters of credit, uh, charter party contracts, port documents, etc. These documents pass through multiple parties and have differing requirements that cause delays that are long and sometimes time consuming. Along with the challenge that the documentation has, the cargo container shipping industry is strapped with very inelastic uh, capacity, meaning that they're not able to increase the capacity quickly to meet market demand. So when demand goes up, regular supply and demand pressures allow cargo ships to charge more. But with trade tensions in the past few years, demand is slack and the cargo ships can barely charge what it takes to cover their costs right now. The challenge is to reduce costs, but, but how? Um, IBM and Maersk Shipping decided to team up together to try to, to tackle this issue. And the product that they created and have deployed and is in current use is called Trade Lens. So it's spelled T-R-A-D-E-L-E-N-S and you can find it at tradelens.com. The digital ledger technology is powered uh, by blockchain. It has the potential to digitize the presentation of documentations and have audible, auditable processes. Now, if you have even a basic understanding of what it takes to ship uh, products from outside the country to inside any other country, you know that the customs officials all have their, the amount of money that they want to be paid, that there are certain customs duties and fees, and there's fines if it's not all laid out properly. So this is a great example of how they can um, be able to streamline the processes and digitize the processes in such a, in an immutable network that allows them to then present this information uh, in a way that is um, quickly and easily uh, absorbed by those authorities. So when looking at this scenario, there is an example of the first key to developing a blockchain business plan, which is the identification of a solid use case that would resolve significant issues for, for the business. So here I am, I'm the businessman. I hear of this brand new technology that is really taking the world by storm right now. I don't want my competitors to get ahead of me, but at the same time, I want to make sure that I make the right choices with the money I will spend on this technology and the possible benefit that I could get from it. So you have to identify then a solid business process that is currently costing money and could be benefited by more seamless interactions uh, between competitors possibly and between the regulatory bodies and people that need the information that I generate uh, inside my company such as shipping times, when it left the shipping dock, where it's going, when it, what's in the, inside the container all of those things if I use the example of Maersk. The next step then is to identify the business process as it currently is. Then you have to map out those business processes onto a blockchain model. The significance of doing this is that when you're challenged by the trust model to assume how an increase of trust will impact that process, you begin seeing all of the waste that is in the process where you have to have human touch on the documentation, you have to put it in the mail, you have to 
uh, attach it to the side of a container. You have to on and on all of these things that you begin to see that if it were totally seamless, if each actor in the network can perform their function and through the business rules and smart contracts, the rules are lived up to and all the information is displayed in a con concise manner, you, you begin to realize the possible impact that a, a blockchain can have um, on, on your organization and on the functions uh, of your organization. So what the process of mapping your current business process onto the blockchain, what it does is it identifies the technical elements that you need to have included, such as the data that you need to have in each block the consensus structure, what kind of consensus you need to have between parties, the governance of smart contracts and what the smart contracts have to contain and the business rules that they have to be able to both at, have people adhere to and make very evident in an audit, uh, in an audible, auditable situation. So the business network would include other businesses, some would be other shipping companies. Um, in our example of TradeLens, any uh, shipping company can be part of TradeLens and join, uh, join the network. And of course, they would have their permissions to see their data and function with the rest of the network. So the next step is to develop then a technology blueprint. Now, the technology blueprint I talked somewhat in the previous uh, video. And just like building a database system or other processing system, uh, you map the business needs through to the technology that it takes to accomplish them. You know, since this is a very technical step, bringing in a consultant partner that has done this type of work before is, is really highly recommended. The data block format that resides on the distributed ledger needs to be compatible with da your downstream systems, or there will be a need to do transformation. That data comes in, you have to do a, an ETL or uh, transformations uh, process to map it to your current data. Either one, you have to be able to link it to your current systems inside of, of your company. The consensus system is designed based on the needs of all internal and external systems that the network will need to interact with. So the visibility of the data based on, based on these business rules and permissions needs to be designed based on existing security systems. So the type of technology stack the, and deployment, whether it be in the cloud, on the premises, or a hybrid of both needs to be considered. The technology needs to align with the business imperatives. The transactions per second and service level agreements need to be taken into consideration as the technology is designed. The next building block then is to ensure that the blockchain network integrates with legacy systems. And I just touched on that a little bit. This can be a significant cost as if the blockchain to the blockchain project if uh, not considered very early in the process. Now to view the example that I used in, uh, in, in this little lecture here, um, go to www.tradelens.com. Uh, there is a YouTube video, uh, video, and I'll post both of these links in, in the description of the video so that you can easily go to both of these places and, and look and see what kind of technology um, is, can be powered by blockchain and how seamless it is. It just looks like another application. And so when you go actually use TradeLens as a shipping business itself, you can be able to seamlessly handle all of the different transactions that are taken into account by the software. And when you look at the video, you'll find that it's very extensive, the amount of business uh, transactions that are able to be done in, this, in the software. It's quite, uh, quite good. So if you have any other questions, please be sure to, to write them in the comments. Um, and if you like what you see in this channel, please subscribe. I'll be putting out videos regularly. Thank you.